Hi, this is Emma Pass, Google Certified Trainer and Innovator, Secondary English Teacher at an established hybrid school, and I am back once again, this time to discuss how to differentiate work for students within Google Classroom. We know the importance of differentiating work for our students so they're getting the exact level of difficulty or support that they need. And I want to show you a couple different ways that I do this through Google Classroom. The first is assigning work to individual or groups of students based on their needs. So as you can see under today's class, I have a piece of general work and I know a couple of students are going to need a little bit more support on this work. So I reuse this exact assignment and I scaffold it, whether that's changing the instruction slightly or actually going into the work and adding supports. And then I go to all students, unselect the whole class, and just post it for those students who I know need that differentiated piece of work. Under the general work, I go through the same process, except I make sure that those two students who got the scaffolded version aren't on this assignment as well. That way, all students are getting the exact work that they need without too much additional work on the teacher. However, the other way I like to differentiate for students is by letting them choose their level of difficulty through the use of choice boards. Under today's class as well, you can see we have a choice board that I've created using Google Slides. In this assignment, I'm asking to see the same skill from all students, which is to depict the mood of our novel. And they can either do that by drawing a book cover, creating a slide presentation, or filming a movie trailer. Students pick their level of difficulty, they pick based on interest, and they pick based on the access they have to technology. Creating a book cover doesn't require very much technology, if any, whereas filming a movie requires quite a bit more. So not only are we differentiating based on skill, but we're also differentiating based on access. Finally, because I am a hybrid teacher, I teach both asynchronously over Google Classroom and synchronously live on Google Meet. My final idea for differentiating is based on choice, and it's an idea from Esther Park that asks students to choose where they would like to work synchronously online based on the types of supports they need or their working style. So I share a slide deck like this with them, and they can choose a meeting room the first one being a meeting room where they can get teacher help and support. One-on-one -on -one help from their teacher. Meeting room number two is where they can work in groups or with their peers. And meeting room number three is silent individual work. Each one of these three doors is linked to a Google Meet, so they can quickly and easily navigate based on their needs. In this video, we discussed differentiating work for students within Google Classroom and talked about three different ways we could do this. The first was for teachers to post a general piece of work and then reuse that post, scaffolding it just for individual students who need help. The second was to create choice boards so students can self-differentiate based on their interest level, level of difficulty, and access to technology. The third was to create separate Google Meeting Rooms for our live synchronous classes each one being a different place to work based on the types of supports they need and the type of work they like to do. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other Google Classroom videos. Bye.